85 years ago today, uh, the two partners were having lunch with a friend of theirs, a Scottish artist, and they came up with the idea for creating one of the finest uh, whiskies available on the market. Something that wasn't like the heavy scotches that were available at the time. Um, so on the 20th of March 1923, they were sat there and they came up with the name Cutty Sark because the Cutty Sark Clipper had just come back into London and Cutty Sark had always been synonymous with quality produce. James McVeigh, being an artist, said, OK, I'll, I'll do you a little picture. And he literally grabbed a napkin, drew a perfect picture of the Cutty Sark with the, with the logo and everything, and that napkin went off to the printers to be used um, on the first bottlings of, of the brand. Um, what most people don't know is that the printers, being printers back in the 1920s, didn't get it quite right and uh, had made a mistake with the colour. Instead of it coming back parchment um, and, and white on the label, it came back yellow. Um, bit, of a, bit of a mistake, but uh, everybody was very impressed with it back at, back at Berry Brothers and uh, it's stayed ever since. <laughs> Why the importance of the 85th birthday of Cutty Sark? The 85th birthday is quite a, you know, it's quite a milestone for any brand. You know, it's got good longevity, but it's quite paradoxical because it's also, you know, Cutty Sark's coming back into the market. It's, an, it's almost like a new brand in the UK, even though everyone's heard of it. It's what we're doing is we're making it new again, so bringing it back in. It's fashionable. It's cocktails. It's all the things that whiskey wasn't a few years ago. I think whiskey's got a very traditional reputation. That's why you don't see. A plethora of whiskey cocktails because that's not how it was drank. Um, if you look now at what which cocktails are popular, it's ones with a lot of flavour, a lot of taste, and that's what whiskey has. And the nice thing about Cutty Sark is it has that distinctive profile. You know, it's it's nice, it's full mouthed, but it's light enough to be used in a cocktail without dominating. You know, when you look at your friends or look at my peer group, what people are doing now is they're that home entertainment is becoming more, much more popular. People are um, cooking at home, they're making cocktails at home. Why is Cutty Sark a mixable whisky as opposed to the traditional ways of drinking whisky being just with water on its own? It was made for the American market, as you know, and it was made to be a very light, um, light style of whisky, which is light in peat. And it's that kind of um, smoky peatiness which is the challenge when you come to make a cocktail with scotch. Um, so Cutty being light in that style, it makes it um, more user friendly for uh, general cocktail use. It's not such a challenge. We're running a competition, as you know, on the drink shop. Um, they have up to six ingredients that they can use, and the base ingredient obviously needs to be Cutty Sark, and it's got to reflect the season of spring. Okay. Have you got any tips you could give to people, either be they professional or amateur? Season of spring, does that mean it has to have spring time ingredients? Because the, the natural flavours that go uh, fabulously well with scotch is um, things you pick up in scotch, so things like ginger and you know, vanilla, these, these kind of flavours go very well with scotch. Um, but also apple juice is the classic mixer, um, the kind of timeless, that you find it so many of the, the Scotch, modern Scotch whisky cocktails have got some kind of combination of you know, some element of apple is, is coming in. Um, I don't know if apple is particularly spring, <laughs> it's more fall I'd say. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I, I would be reaching for the, apple, yeah, the, the good quality pressed apple juice would be one of my first grabs as a, a lemon for that. And then, um, Maybe a, a little hint of ginger liqueur or something like, something like that in there. Or muddle some stem ginger in another classic thing of a Scotch whisky cocktail, especially a modern Scotch whisky cocktail. If I were advising someone entering your competition, I'd be putting a big bribe in the post because <laughs> weekends in New York is worth a few quid. <laughs>